So it's been a minute since my last replay analysis, so I thought I'd bring one out for you. I strongly believe that these types of videos are the best way for you to improve. So if you're looking to rank up, then this video will be perfect for you. This replay is from a 3v3 Diamond 1 to Diamond 2 lobby. And one of the things I love about these lobbies is that there is a lot of mistakes that we can go through. So make sure you watch the video all the way to the end and take in all the advice if you want to rank up. So let's get to it. Okay, I double commit on the kickoff, uh, which happens a lot of this rank. But it's usually left goes if you don't know. Okay, just a bit slow there, um, because because you're creeping to this ball quite slowly, you you then can realise that the other team are going to get it before you. Now, obviously, if you went faster to this, then you'd be able to get it. But because you go a little bit slow, the other team's going to get it. So you just got to recognise that, turn back, and then go back to your goal. But because you dive in, you just put yourself out of position. Okay, you missed the mid boost. It's always good to take those boosts on, on your way back because it stops the other team getting them. Now again, you just want to wait. So you've basically got three options here. You can go back to goal and let your teammate go for it. You can wait for the ball to drop and catch it, or you can go up to the wall and then jump out to it that way. But uh, the last thing you want to do is jump up an aerial because when the ball's this close to the wall, you're always going to reach the ball a lot more quickly if you go up the wall and, and going for an aerial. Because now you've left your team in a difficult position because they're coming back trying to get boost. The so hammer won't have boost right now, so it'd be very hard for him to get a save. So you just need to uh, keep that in mind. Okay, you wait back. You're a little bit too far back, but it doesn't matter. Your teammates score. I don't think you need to be all the way back in goal there, but I understand why you are because sometimes if they hit it high, it's very difficult to save. Now you just want to take a light touch there. You could have knocked that to the right, your teammate. But it works out. So now just wait for the hit. You've just got to learn how to double jump. And if you can learn the fast aerial, then getting to balls like this will be a lot easier. So I definitely recommend that you learn how to fast aerial. You see these little boost spurts that you do? This is a habit that a lot of players have. You just don't want to do these little boost spurts because you're just wasting boost. And over the space of a game, you'll use up a lot of boost doing that. So you just want to get out of the habit of doing that and just drive. Okay, you just want to wait for this, wait for his touch, wait for the shot. Okay, that was a good hit. Now you're very slow out to the ball, so you want to get used to being quite fast in these moments. You can see there's nobody on the other team going for this ball. You then just want to fly out to it as quick as you can. And a good way to practice that is to go into free play and just hit the ball around the pitch. Like, um, that will get you faster at, at following the ball. Okay, you're rotating back post here, that's good. Okay, you take a light touch there. Now, I see this a lot um, at lower ranks. I mean, this happens all the way up to like Grand Champ, I would say. When you have a ball fall to you like this, it's a really good opportunity for you to create an attack. Now, by you hitting the ball away, you're effectively just passing back to them. This is what you want to use free play and training packs for. It's just practicing different attacks that you can use during the game. Now, obviously, I'm not going to expect you to maybe go for an air dribble, but what you can do is you can simply just hit the ball to the side wall and then go for an attack that way. That will be a lot more effective than just hitting the ball away. You just want to rotate out here. There's no need for you to stay there. Just rotate out, get boost, and then get ready for the uh, second attack. Yeah, there's no need to go out there because your teammate's there, so your teammate's pressuring. If you've got a teammate pressuring, then you just want to stay back and let them pressure. But I notice you keep doing these boost spurts. You, you really need to uh, break that habit. You see that? You see, you just do a little boost spurt. You keep doing that over and over.
Okay, that was a good hit. Now that's that, that's that speed again. And I know you scored the goal, and obviously, you know, that's good. But use just a little bit slow to it. And the higher you go up in range, the harder it will be to score these because the other team will be quicker as well. So you just want to get used to, as you hit that ball, now you want to be going. You want to be going for this. As soon as you notice it's going to hit the wall, you just want to flip to your right, like diagonal right flip, and then you want to get ready for the rebound. But you kind of, you take that little extra time to line up the shot. And you, and you just want to get in the habit of going without thinking about it. Okay, here you want to go up to the backboard. So once again, you're not taking the quickest route to the ball. You're going for an aerial as opposed to going up onto the backboard and clearing it that way. It's the same situation as when we was on the side wall. It's just this time you've got to go to the backboard. So create a training pack where you can go up to the backboard and make clears like this and you will become a lot faster at clearing the ball. Because you're going to be able to boom it forward then as opposed to getting a little soft touch back to him in the corner. Okay, someone on the other team has quit. I'm guessing rage quit. Okay, you just want to wait now for the pass and your teammate gets the goal. So I'm kind of guessing that this match is going to be over. If this video was helpful, then please hit that like button and I'll see you next time.